In this tutorial I will show you how to operate the Terraformer Pro. This part will teach you how to modify the model. We will start out painting hills, so click the icon named Hill once. There are two parameters of importance for this command. Radius and Multiplicator. Radius defines how large an area around the center point is affected and Multiplicator defines how large the change is. Click Apply once and then click the center point on the model to paint your hill. To change parameters, simply change them, then click Apply. Now you can just continue on painting. Valley works exactly like hill. The parameters are the same. When painting valleys, make sure you have the optional water layer turned off. It tends to get in the way. As you can see, the actual painting process takes its time, so don't click too fast. Let's turn on the water layer for a moment here to see what it will look like. Beautiful, isn't it? Let's get the model set up for some elevation experiments. First, we unselect everything, then we select the current parcel, and finally we set cell mode to operate on the current selection only. Elevation is a quite elemental function. It allows you to raise or lower terrain. The single parameter defaults to zero can set it between minus 10 and plus 10 meters. Simply click apply to raise or lower the terrain. to the randomization feature. Click the icon named RAND. This function, when applied, simply varies the elevation of the terrain. Use it to make flat land or smooth hills look more natural. Let's continue on to the mathematical functions. There are two of those, power and logarithm. Both basically allow you to amplify the terrain. They both have a single parameter that defines the strength of the effect. With both, you want to use only small changes to the default value as even those tend to have a strong effect.
The two functions sim and flat allow you to load a sim's terrain and to flatten the sim. If you have changed the terrain since you res the terraformer, sim allows you to either load the terrain as it was when the model was resed or just load the current layout. Flat lets you define the elevation level which a terrain will be set to when applied. This concludes part 3 of the tutorial series.